Let me get this set on its stand. Oh. There we go. Well, there's me and Brian. Thanks, Brian. How you been? Have you tried out those bottles yet? Hi, Larry. How are you? I'll be honest, I am exhausted. Hi, Christina. My glasses are dirty, dirty. Now I can see. Hi, Susan. How are you, babe? We'll give everybody a, a minute or two to get on. Hi, Kathy. How are you, sweetheart? Are you still in Florida? Guys, Kathy is actually Kathy Mackey. I met her in Florida, and she is the coolest person. I just love her. We had a lot of fun, didn't we, Kathy? Hi, Joy. Oh, you got home Monday. Hi, Julia. Good to see you. All right. Well... I'm going to do something tonight that I've never done. I'm going to play with silicone. I've never done it. And, Joy, I was going to tell everybody that here in just a second. So, I pulled out my old heart canvases that I didn't like, and I covered them in black. Um... 
Oh, Brian's toys are on sale. Don't anybody miss that. He's got a lot of cool ones. I know which one I'm getting. Um, Brian, as soon as I make a credit card payment, then I'll be able to, to uh, order. Hi, Glenda. Well, guys, I got home last night from West Virginia. My dad, amazingly, is doing great. Um, he had a heart attack, I think, a week ago, Monday or Tuesday. And it was a serious one. They did a cath, and they pulled out a large, a very big... <laughs> Uh, blood clot and, and that cleared him up but um, my dad is super sensitive to drugs and so the morphine and then they gave him an Ativan I think the second night after the heart attack because he wouldn't go to sleep and from that he slept like 48 hours and then once he he slept all the they moved him to the rehab center, and all he he kept trying to get out of bed and wanting to go home. He does have dementia, and um, but he was too weak. He could barely talk. He didn't have any strength to talk, and um, they, uh, you know, we we weren't real sure as to what was going to happen. And amazingly enough, we got up the next day and he could walk. And he could talk. <laughs> and he was ready to go home. And uh, he had his stuff all packed up, ready to go. Well, of course, they weren't going to let him go because he was still shaky. But... The next day, he was even stronger, and the next day, he was even stronger. So, I came home last night so I could paint some and get away from it. I was just mentally drained, and uh, I'll probably go back next Monday. So, if I do go back, I probably won't do a live, and I'll let you know. I'll, I'll post on community page so you'll know. And... Um, We'll go from there. Okay. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Donna. Who else have I missed since I was talking about Dad? Um, I got Linda. Must be just... I don't think I've missed anybody. Just saw an orb floating behind my back in the screen on my computer. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring you down. Tonight will probably be a short night and because uh, I'm, I'm still just mentally tired and kind of physically tired from all the running. Did you see it too, Joy? It was right behind my back. Oh, there it goes again, above my head. I've got somebody in my basement. All right. These are two old canvases. And I just quickly Put some black over them. They weren't very good. They were from where I very first started painting. And uh, so I thought I'd use them. And this is Deco Art Deep Sapphire. And I watered it down and 
put three drops of silicone in it. And this is Deco Art Pearl Peacock Plus, because uh, I didn't have enough, um, Golden Teal. So that's a mix. This is the Parage Posse um, Mona's Shimmering, Shimmering Eggplant. Excuse my words. Um, then I've got TLP Submarine and Pebio Iridescent Gold. This is a pearl metallic white, and I can't remember which brand it is. And this is Black Ice Metallic from Parage Posse. So, I didn't know if I'd use all these, but I got them out. And then I just have a plain old base of Amsterdam Black. Oxide Black. And, like I said, I put... This is the only silicone I've got. So I put three drops each in it and I stirred it about three times, maybe four, into it. And I thought we'd do a flip cup on one and an open cup on another. So I cut me an open cup for that one. And I thought that's what we'd do tonight. So I'm just going to play. And I've never done silicone. I've wanted to try it. And sitting in my chair today, I was seeing a bunch of silicone pours. And I thought, well, that's what I'll do tonight. And so I just poured some paints and some empty cups and went to town. And then I take this size stick and break them in half when I'm using these little cups. Because when I use my regular stir sticks, like these, they're too long. And I knock them over. And I make a mess. So I'd rather throw away a stick than knock over my paint. So let's start with the flip cup. I'm going to start with the deep sapphire. And I probably didn't need that much. Hi, Lupe. Good to see you. It's Maria, isn't it? And... Parage Posse eggplant. I think I'll just do two layers. I may not even need two layers for that size of a. I may need a bigger canvas, which I have one. Let's put some white in. Ah, we'll just go ahead and follow this paint order. I didn't really, I just had them laid out, but we'll just follow it. Yeah, I'll get a bigger canvas. I think this cup will be Too much. So, how's everybody been doing in your life? <laughs> I tell you, life can throw you some ringers. That's my dad's third heart attack. 
And I'd say you'll have another one. There's a bigger, a bigger canvas. And I probably should have flipped cut before I even put that on there. I should have done that at flow extender style. All right. Here we go. Hey, that did pretty good. Ah. Hi, Janet. How are you doing? I got Lupe. I think I'm I see sales coming already. This will be interesting. Pretty cup. Can you see that? It's got all kinds of shimmer in there. Pretty, pretty. I think. Since this is black, I'm going to put my gloves on. If I can get them out of the box. There we go. It's a new box. I didn't want to come out. It looks like all the colors are showing up. I didn't really need that black ice with the black base, but oh well. Here we go. Let's put a little more so we don't lose it. I've always been afraid of silicone. And Christina and Brian have got me a little more comfortable with it. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it. Because it's just something I've never used before. And it always makes pretty cool paintings. Let's see about getting a little bit of the excess off because I still have a lot. I probably could have gone an even bigger canvas.
I think I want to stop there. Looky there, guys. Look what Joanne did. guys think. Hi Amy. How are you? I love the chicken costumes that you and your hubby had on. That was cute. All right. Now let's play with an open cup. Thank you, Linda. Birds facing left. I don't see them. Give me some time. My brain's kind of dead today. <laughs> Hi, Anna. See, Anna's scared of uh, silicone, too. Well, these will be my practice, and I'll, I'll let them cure and clean them and finish them, and that'll take care of all my fears. So, hopefully. Let's do this one. I want to do this one as an open cup. I swear, I think that paint thickened up on me. I had it really thin. And it hadn't sat very long. Let's see. What to start with first. Let's start with teal. I'm going to do a little at a time this time so I can have the colors all mixed up. I might leave the black and white out. Well, a little white. A little bit of white. I'm trying. Hi, Susan. How are you? I'm so happy to see everybody tonight. I tell you. It's rough going things by, through things by yourself.
I know one thing. I don't know how things are where you guys live. But our rehab facility, when somebody gets out of the hospital and has to have rehab and care so they can't go home, um, they're put in the nursing homes. And I had a friend who had a double knee transplant at the same time because his was so bad. And they put him in the nursing home and nobody worked with him. He laid in there for three or four weeks and his family finally said, to heck with this, we're taking him home. And they took him home and his knees were more or less locked up. And he had to go to rehab in a wheelchair starting out. And I think he had to go through like six months of rehab because of being left lay in the bed and not taken care of. But this place in Charleston, West Virginia is just a rehab facility. And it's got two floors of rehab beds and you've got your own private room. It's really like a hotel room almost. And it's, it's beautiful and those nurses run and they they are at everybody's beck and call. If they hit the call button, they're right there to check on you and see what's going on. And they have surgery patients and heart attack patients and all kinds of different things. And they're awesome. I wish every city had a nice place like this. And then they had a section on the other side um, for long-term care. People who were not going to be able to rehabilitate and go back home because they didn't have family at home. And they're taken care of and, until their final days. But, man, they're awesome. Look at these come out of here. It's so cool. I haven't done very many open cups. I still got a little bit of paint in there. I'm trying to get it to all come out. Oh, a big bubble. <laughs> 